there you are. Come, let's take a closer look. Shinada moved in a little closer and took a peek inside. The councilmen are discussing their plans of attack and defense in the wake of the news that a small rhetoric army brigade is drawing dangerously close to the village. <laughs> Do you think they even know we're here? If the Rhetoric Republic should discover our location, we must commence operations to relocate Shinata. Time is running out. We need to tap into Shinata's true potential. We need results now. We need to push her harder. She's now old enough to handle more rigorous training. The last time this idea came up, Shinata was nearly killed. Reports suggest that Jin start rapidly coming into their powers after they have hit puberty. I must admit the last time we got a little ahead of ourselves, but now is the time considering her age and the current circumstances. What about Shin? What about him? His duties remain the same. He is Shinada's personal bodyguard. We must ensure that Shinada is ready for battle. There is darkness within Shin. A dark side you can see deep in his eyes. There is no telling what he would do. I'm afraid he's a liability that we simply cannot afford to have around Shinata. How are you so sure? He may be rough around the edges, but there is greatness within him. Rough around the edges? He may be a little extreme. However, he takes his training and duties seriously. He is a valuable asset in her protection. He is the most gifted fighter I have ever seen. He is worthless. The most powerful beings in the realms will one day be no match for a Jin. It's inevitable. Until that day comes, we will need to protect Shinada, and Shin is fully capable of getting the job done. The meeting had already started, and Shinada was straining to hear what was being said. This task became more difficult as Gordo kept inching closer and closer until he was right up against her, breathing in her ear. Jin? Shin a waste of time? And what did they say about Shin having a dark side? Um, something, something, something. Dark side! Ugh. You're so useless. Gordo leaned into Shinada. <laughs> ah, you smell so good. Oh my god, Shinada smells amazing! Stop it! Back off! Shinada <laughs> kicked Gordo in the sack. <laughs> Armor jockstrap! There's an old saying in my house. I know it's in your house. Well, probably in my house. That says, Fool me once. Shame on... Uh, shame on you. Fool me. I can't be fooled again. <laughs> the second kick crushed his metal jockstrap and his family jewels. Gordo's eyes nearly popped out of his head as he tumbled off the side to the ground below. Hmm. What was that? It sounded like a sack of potatoes hitting the ground. Shinata, come here. Ugh, what is that smell? Shinata, we haven't been receiving the results we have been expecting. <sighs> Your results are stagnant at best. To remedy this, we are allowing you access to the village's mines to the northeast. Your task is to light the braziers on the first floor of the mine. You will also need to collect a wild root and a wild mushroom so that you can create a small health potion. You can create the small health potion at the alchemy station. 
You may need some help in the mines, so feel free to seek help from others. Perhaps this will facilitate your transformation from a caterpillar to a butterfly. Remember, Shinada, you and Shin have been trained to protect the village from those who would seek to destroy our way of life. Enemies are lurking in the shadows, and they will be soon upon us. We need you to be ready, so leave now and come back as a warrior. I will also accompany you to ensure your safety and well-being. Report back to me when you have completed your mission. Yes, sir. Nurok joined the party. I can actually leave the village now? Absolutely. This is the happiest day of my life! Do not forget, now that you are allowed out of the village, there are quests available to you. Consider this a part of your training, so go ahead, ask around the village for additional quests. Maybe I should check on Gordo first to make sure he isn't badly hurt. Gordo? I do not think Gordo would be a wise choice. I recommend first finding Shin by the village entrance. He may be waiting outside. Next, why not speak to the Warrior of Light within Council Hall? Just remember, there are three main factions in this area. The Warriors of Light, the Children of the Moon, and the Bloodbound. Choose wisely. The decision is yours. I'm ready.